Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell from InMotionREI.com and today I want to talk about email signatures. First of all, if you have a Gmail, Yahoo, AOL account, there's a website I want to tell you about called WiseStamp.com and as you can see it will help you personalize an email signature that matches up with your brand. Now, because we're getting ready for Outlook this week, I definitely want to talk about signatures. I have put together some email signatures that I want you to take a look at. Here they are this morning. Here's Juanita McDowell, real estate speaker and trainer with the different colors. I tend to use the blue a lot. I like the colors of blue and orange or blue and green together and that is typically what you'll see on other parts of my marketing material. So let's talk about a couple of steps that we're going to go through to get this email signature up and running. First of all, I want you to gather your photos. Save them to your desktop or any place where you can find them. Because I teach social media classes, I always encourage you to, if you're into social media, I encourage you to use those icons in your email signature. I'm going to talk about that website that's going to enable you to grab those social media icons. And then I want you to go to Word or Outlook, which the default editor in Outlook is Word, so you can... Uh, Create your signature right there, your fancy signature, not just a plain one. And then the next step you're going to do, you're going to create your signature. We're going to do that by creating a table with three columns, three rows. We're going to add our photos and links, and we're going to select the table format, and that's going to be help us finish our final design. So let's do all that. First of all, I'm going to, I've already gathered the photos that I want. I do want to show you this website, iconfinder.com. All you do is you Type in, let's say Facebook, and hit search. And that's going to allow you to see all the Facebook icons. After you do that, for every social media platform that you're a part of, let's just say you like that icon there. You're going to download it as a PNG, give it a name, save it on your desktop, or someplace you can find it. I would encourage you to say E for email, and Facebook and hit save and now you know where it is real quick get you there okay I've already done that so we'll skip that part for me let's go and look at some of e the email signatures that I just mentioned to you and let's see how I created these signatures there they are right there okay first of all let me just give myself a little bit of space here and you can do this from Outlook I'm going to insert a table because that's going to help me with alignment and if you already know how to do the table, there we go, three tables, let's see, three rows, three columns should get us going. If you already know how to use a table, then I would just encourage you to think through your design. First, starting off with how you want it to look. In this example, I have a sort of a left column there, and I have a bar here that is completely, or I'll say a row completely used for my social media icons. So let's just merge some cells real quick. We'll take those and merge them. We'll take these last three blocks and merge them. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture. So I'm going to insert a picture from my desktop that I already have. And just to show you how I got this to look like this, I recolored this picture. That's how we got there. And then I just typed in some words here. And the reason I do that is because I want to center these. These are going to be where my icons are. Okay, now I want to insert picture. And this is where I'll insert, in this case, Facebook. There we go. And then to that right there, right beside it, I'll insert. And they'll stay centered. Picture. LinkedIn. And don't worry about the size. They're 32 by 32. Because the icons are different, they may look a little bit different. And then Twitter. Those are my social media icons. There we go. And then you can just make some adjustments. I'm not going to get it perfect for sake of time, but you can get the idea. And then I'm going to... This compartment looks like it's all one group. So I'm going to merge these cells. There we go. And now I'm ready to go. I'm going to cheat a little bit and type in, copy and paste that information. 
and I want to show you how you can make basically adjust. There we go. Get the alignment the way you want it to get. Let's. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you include a hyperlink underneath each icon. So you would select the icon, go to the insert tab, go to the links group, select hyperlink, and make sure that the address, the web address, is right here. It matches up with the icon. Say OK. And you'll need to do that for the LinkedIn, Twitter, and any other social media icons that you need. Next, I want to show you, basically this is a table. So I can select, <clears throat> excuse me, a table format. So I'm going to select this table. And when I do that, you'll see table tools. A new menu appears. Click that. So now I can design my table however I want to design it. So you're looking at the bottom one, see how as I move over, I can basically make any designs. If I click the drop down box, I can add colors, designs, make it green, make it red, make it blue. It's really up to me at this point, but I just want to show you how you can really make a fancy signature. You may like it without the borders, or you may like it very, very blue, but it's totally up to you. I'll just leave it there for now. And you just need to copy and paste. So that is your email signature. Control C or copy. And then when you go to Outlook, and you go to Tools, Options, Mail Format, Signatures. You can create a new signature, and let's call it Test. One, two, three. And then all you do is paste. And that's the signature you just created. And of course, if you want all new messages to have test one, two, three, all you need to do is go down there alphabetically listed. And now any new messages you create will have that as a signature. And say OK. I hope that tip helps. I look forward to seeing you in Outlook class.